guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I am okay. I'm telling you that everything happens to me at the wrong time. <laughs> my earring fell, but we're not gonna let this ruin our video. So, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't been here in so long because I haven't. I think it's been like three months since I last uploaded, and I think I uploaded like a life update. Let me go check actually. Um, I promise you that I've been trying to be more constant on YouTube because I know that I don't wanna lose my youtube family i know how hard it was to build it up and i don't want to just lose anyone um although i feel like youtube is not the same as before but i'm gonna try and come back to youtube am i blurry hold on i feel like i'm blurry my last video was a uh, weight loss meal prep so if you haven't watched us go watch that that was two months ago <sighs> it's been a journey i am back to tell you guys i had told you that i was working on something and a lot of my Instagram followers already know. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. But I'm finally going to share with you guys because it's been a journey. It's been crazy. I've been so tired and exhausted. But I'm really excited to announce it. You know, I've been absent and I feel like I'm ready to come back. And upload at least once a week. I want to actually start doing that. Um, now that I kind of what I'm doing, it's not over and it's not going to be over anytime soon but i feel like i can have a little bit more time now um so i want to tell you guys dun 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 no i'm not gonna marry and i'm not pregnant i know you guys probably are expecting that but no that's not the case right now i am opening my coffee shop finally if you have known if you've been following me you know that i um open a little uh small business first from home drink your promise cafecito then I started doing more caterings for events and that was going well. It's been going great. I actually started that this year. Y se me dio la oportunidad. An opportunity came for a open a little like shop. It's nothing big. It's not a huge coffee shop. But for me, it's like a big, big accomplishment to actually have a place where I can you know have my little coffee shop. It's it's not it's more like a pick up and go. I have some seating outside. But it's like a little, like a little, um, come on, a little space that I'm um, renting. A lot of people were asking if I, I bought it or rented. It is rented. Um, so I want to talk to you guys a little about about this journey because it's been a crazy one, guys. There's been times that I just want to cry. I cried. I've, I've been stressed. I've been like so emotional. I've been. It's such a roller coaster to be a business owner because there's just so much stress on you and I have not left my job yet that was another question I got a lot because I did ask you, told you guys to ask me questions I have not quit yet because I want to first quiero levantar esto. I want this business to grow it is very scary as a business owner first time like actual business owner to just quit your job because now you're not going to have a what's it called like a like a you know like a ah oh, what's the word i'm looking have your income like secure so i have not quit yet but um i want to talk to you guys about the journey so this this space is a very well good spot in san diego it is located in barrio logan it's close to the coronado bridge very popular a lot of tourists go there it's literally like right there right before you go into the bridge it's close to chicano park um, to pass inspection, it has been a journey. Um, the health department asked for so many little things and details that you have to really be um, very, you have to really um, investigate and um, inform yourself, educate yourself about what, what is needed. Um, there's a lot of different permits that you need. Um, if you're trying to open a business, you can go to your local like health department they can help you personally i had a great assistant which also follows me she was very helpful she answered all my questions i'm very grateful for her yeah it's a lot of things that you need to follow through like i said there's many different permits my specific permit was like a mobile card permit i think um and yeah you just have to follow you have you need plans you need certain measurements of things counters sinks three compartment sinks nsf uh, it has to be commercial grade um, it's just a lot of little things um, so I've been working so hard on this shop I think I worked on it like three months and finally I finally was able to accomplish everything so I kind of want to add clips here when we were working on it like I said it's been a journey I can go more into details about how 
I pass inspection and all that but right now I'm just gonna add clips of everything I honestly didn't vlog much but I did vlog little clips when we were working on it I want to thank everyone that put their granito de arena that helped me in any way whether it was with letting me borrow tools or letting me borrow a truck to carry things because yeah it's really hard to do it completely alone and I feel like I had a really great support system and I'm so thankful for every single one of you that helped me in any any type of way to make this possible because la verdad si sí es mucho um, you just go through a lot of like emotions because you're excited but then it's scary but then you don't know if you're doing the right thing um like i said in this in this in my situation i did not look for it it literally came to me um i heard there was like open spaces there i went and met up with the owner she loved me i loved her she right, right away wanted me there so yeah we signed the contract and i said you know what like if this is happening without me even looking for a place for a spot uh in reality, I thought it wasn't going to take longer. I thought I was going to do catering for more time. Probably a, get a little trade or something. But this happened. And I believe that everything happens for a reason. O sea, si, o sea yo, yo creo que es mejor cuando algo no es forzado. And the fact that this came, this opportunity came without me really looking for it. I thank God for that. And honestly, I cannot do this without God. I know He's the one that has helped me and guided me and given me the patience and the strength and everything. Um... So if you guys are interested, in to, um, I can go more into detail about like kind of how much I've spent or how much I've money I have invested in this. Uh, it's a crazy journey. I just wanted to make kind of make this video announcing what has been happening and why I've been absent, and then I can go and um, record those videos probably to try and help you guys. Like I said, every state's different, every situation's different. Um, this is just my experience that I wanted to share with you guys because I wish I had someone to kind of explain to me, you know, what to expect or just little things like that. Um, I do know that you have to be mentally strong, emotionally strong to go through this because things are not always going to go your way. Um, you know, people might turn your back on their back on you. You might not gonna you might not get the outcome you want and I'm just starting. I already did my soft opening. It went great. I also vlogged that I'm gonna add in another vlog. But um I am gonna plan my grand opening hopefully soon. I'm hoping for the best. Um like I said, I didn't wanna talk about all this before before it actually happened, before I got my permit, because you know never know people might have bad intentions with you or I don't know I feel like when you speak before things don't tend to happen so I rather waited until it happened and I'm so thankful um, I don't know how to explain how I felt when I got my permit it's just like literally todo lo que batallé, lo que, lo que soñé, like literally just came true for me I couldn't believe it it was like processing for a whole day like I actually did this I did cry because it's something that I feel like uh, you know getting your letter a is something that only like people that have gone through it know what it feels like because of all the work behind it it's not so easy to just get a you know health department or your letter a i think it's called an a permit i don't know exactly what it's called but it's been a journey and i'm happy that i'm here now so i'm gonna be vlogging a lot i'm gonna try and do like day in my life vlogging like for my shop um, now I can be more open with you guys and share more. I was just kind of like tensed up because I had this going on. Like I have my job. I have. I did kind of like lose, lose myself with the training. Um, I do. I'm not in my best shape right now. And I know I don't look my greatest. But it's okay because, you know, we can get back on it. Um, like I mentioned on Instagram, I know I'm known for being a fitness influencer and i don't want to lose that i don't want to lose that audience because i still want to take care of myself you guys know that i come from being overweight losing 100 pounds going through eating disorders and coaching and all that i don't want to let myself go and i'm not going to because i only know how i felt when i was that big and i'm not gonna let myself go i might have gained a little bit of weight i probably lost some muscle but the passion for fitness is still there and somehow I'm going to incorporate like my coffee shop, my, my um, fitness because I am not going to lose that Susie. I'm not going to lose Fit Susie because I feel my best when I'm 
working on myself and taking care of myself so here's gonna be a journey of trying to manage uh, I'm gonna start vlogging more about trying to manage a business while taking care of myself while living life hoping this business goes well and I can soon quit my regular job and just trust the process uh, thank you for everyone that has supported me from far I see messages I read messages I see how many tags I get I see everything so I really really want to thank you yeah that's what's going on that's why I've been gone I hope you guys forgive me and like I said I'm gonna try and vlog please be patient with me like you have been and I very thank I really really thank you but it's happening this is something that I dreamt of I know that I always had a passion for coffee and I always wanted to open my shop and I just never thought that it was actually gonna come true and the only thing in my mind is helping my parents helping my family helping myself um, only I know and my family knows how we've struggled growing up and my dad is getting tired and that's the only thing that's in my mind I want to change the I want to change the um, what most of us Latinos think that life should be that we're just supposed to work for someone and until we you know die until we have to retire Primero Dios todo va a salir bien. Primero Dios, los planes de Dios son perfectos y yo sé que él me va a ayudar. Um, so yeah, enjoy these clips and I'm sorry if they're all over the place. Like I said, I try and vlog here and there, like little things that I I thought they were important. A lot of things I did not vlog because I was stressed because of a lot of things. So so enjoy these clips. Hi you guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very 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 important day for me. So, as you guys all know, I announced that I'm going to open a little coffee shop in San Diego in Barry Logan. And I've been working on it really hard. Um, so, I wanted to vlog this moment because it's finally inspection date. The health department is going to go today. I'm just ready to get my permit and to start operating. So, I'm prepping. I've been up early. I loaded some stuff in my uh, car some extra little things that I needed like soap um, like cleaning supplies for my shop and little things like that I'm also thinking of taking my plants I'm not sure if I'm gonna take all of them this one's gonna be sad lately I'm not sure what's wrong with it um, I do know I want a lot of plants so I think I'm gonna just put some plants in my car just to be ready to have them after inspection and load my car and um and start decorating how i want it right now the shop is not exactly how i want it i just got it ready for inspection it already looks cute though but there's much more that has to be changed and do and done but i just wanted to get it ready for inspection i'm excited i'm nervous i'm pretty confident but you just never know you know it's a health department they require a lot of things and it's been a hard process it's a it's been a hard journey stressful i've cried i've been happy I've been tired so many emotions I haven't worked out like I I usually do because of it's so much going on and yeah so I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm gonna try and record everything um, and we'll see what happens I just want to start this video and yeah guys if you guys are enjoying my content and you want you guys want more videos please like this video and subscribe and comment something send me good vibes so i'm gonna make myself um some breakfast because i need to eat something i i don't know when i'm gonna come back home so i always like to be prepared and eat so what else do i need to load oh also i don't know if you guys know how to clean this umbrella it's been out here in my past. It's getting re it's getting real. I have my stuff, my car loaded with stuff that I need to take. Um so yeah guys, please send me all the good vibes. I'm hoping I pass. If I don't pass, which I am gonna pass, um, there has to be another inspection date set. I'm not sure when there's, there's when their next available appointment is and I have to pay again. All these appointments and everything have fees and prices and everything so let's hope for the, for the best um i'll take you guys along with me i'm gonna get ready ready really quick um and i'll take you guys along with my whole day and we'll see how it goes today and it's actually national it's also national girlfriend day so i'm hoping this is my present for myself to pass so i'll see you guys later
Hi, Kyo. Come on. Wow, you great. I did it, you guys. Honestly, words can't even describe how I'm feeling right now. Earlier, I couldn't even... Like, I had no reaction because I feel like there were so many things going through my mind and remembering everything that I went through to get to this point. If you guys want to know more about everything that I went through, I'm going to post another video. I'm so thankful for everyone that was there with me at all times. Nunca me dejaron sola, and I'm so grateful, and I'm never going to forget. Because all this wouldn't have been... Ha um, been possible with all the help that I had and I'm so grateful and happy and I did cry already I didn't get in camera though because it's just such a relief ya puedo estar tranquila, ya puedo respirar. it was so much work and I'm so happy I'm so grateful thank God for everything without if it wasn't for God like I would not be here uh, making all my dreams come true so I hope you guys stop by when I'm open I'm in Barrio Logan but we're gonna remodel this more it's not exactly how i wanted like i mentioned but it's already beautiful i love it but we're gonna do some changes probably change this countertop a different color i like like something brighter maybe make this a little like lighter um i'll record everything but i'm so so happy thank you god update i i'm drained i'm so tired um I've been working on my shop so much and I know I look like crap because it's been crazy but I'm happy after I passed inspection I've been working on redecorating with my friend and I shout out to you I'm sure you're watching this I'm sure you watch my videos we've been working uh, re redecorating everything and it looks so good guys today was so exhausting to me I passed my inspection two days ago and today I had to go to work and i worked literally from 8 to 4 30 and from 5 to now midnight i just finished so all day i've been working i'm so tired as you can see i have like paint all over me and i'm just so exhausted and this is the type of things that you do this is the type of things that i want to record for memories for myself and remember all the hard work that i'm doing and yeah I, it's a saturday today there was some parties going on i could have done so many other things but i chose to finish what i was doing uh finish my shop which it's like 90 percent finished it's so beautiful and i'm so happy with it i'm gonna record a video i'm gonna go back tomorrow i think tomorrow i'm gonna test the waters i'm not gonna announce any like opening yet it's not a soft opening but i'm gonna be there for like two three hours just to see if anyone like wants to buy anything so yeah i'm happy i'm excited look at my hands i painted and i'll show you guys tomorrow how it looks but i just wanted to share the reality of behind all this um it's a lot of little details because i wanted to look a specific way which oh my god today it looks so beautiful guys i can't wait to show you guys but yeah i'm so tired it's when i was 12 12 as i'm speaking and I'm going to go shower and I'm going to sleep. Uh, it's been so crazy lately. Um, I haven't had a day off. I've been, if I'm not at work, I'm on my shop, I'm in my shop working or I'm in the computer, in my phone, my computer working for my shop, for menus and all that. It's a lot of work, but like I said, it's all going to be worth it and no me voy a rajar porque... I know how long how much it's taking me a lot of people don't see behind it uh everyone's not with me at all times and they don't see what i'm doing every day but yeah guys i'm happy and i'm i'm making my dreams come true and primero dios everything's gonna come out good thank god i have energy is doing healthy enough to be doing everything i'm doing Hopefully from now things get better, easier for me because I feel like I haven't found my routine. Uh, like for the gym and everything. But yeah, a big shout out to my friend Anai. She helps me so much. She was with me since 5 to 12 helping me with everything. It's crazy and I'm so hungry right now. But you know when you get to, to a point where you're hungry but then you don't want to eat because you're too tired to make food. That's how I feel. But anyway, just wanted to vent. I'm going to shower and rest right now because me so hot.
Tengo ojos de borrego. Es muy mejor, ¿sí? Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you follow me for more. If you're new, I hope you follow me for more content. So, like I said, I'm going to keep on bringing fitness videos, business videos, um, day in my life, just random vlogging. Leave me in the comments what you guys would like to see more of. And I do read the comments. I don't always get to reply because, like I said, I have a million things to do. But I'm going to try and... I'm going to consider everything that I read. So I really want to thank you so much for following me. If you still follow me from years, I love you and I appreciate you. And honestly, I'm so grateful for every opportunity that has came my way. I'm so thankful to God for everything that he has let me experience and live. I'm going to stop because I'm going to cry. I hope I see you guys there in the comments. And... Subscribe if you haven't liked this video. Please help me grow this channel more so I can wait. And you know, I can do this full time. My business, vlogging, that's a dream to me. But thank you guys again. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to do what's right, not what's easy. Bye.